So welcome back to the plugins learning path. This um, lesson is designed to help you understand what the um, plugin creator tool created for you as it relates to Android. So the last lesson we talked about how to customize some iOS source code after downloading the the project and the plugin and this one's going to talk about Android. So before I get too carried along carried away um, in my resources folder in my drawables directory I'm going to add a couple of images the images um, some of the images that we're going to use in the project and this over here is a cheat sheet we're going to see this uh, we're going to use this a little bit later when we customize this plugin and make it uh, make a little fun little bug tapper screen So in the drawable folder, I'm going to add an image called bug and an image called splat. You'll see how those are going to be meaningful here in a little bit. And I already have Eclipse running. So this is the Eclipse environment. Let me resize this so that we can start our new project. So I'm going to say file new Android project. And what we're going to do here is we'll just call this bug o -rama and we'll create a project from existing source. So I'm going to browse to my downloads directory. In my downloads directory, we've already unzipped this project. Unzip the archive. I'm going to say finish. So this is um, something that you've probably done already or you wouldn't be watching the um, Android plugin lesson, but what I'm going to do here is explore this project source and some of the files to show you what we've done. So you see these little red X's? These little red X's sometimes show up when we don't have the um, proper Android build selected in the in the properties here. So I'm going to make sure that we have the proper Android build selected. Google APIs 2.2. I'm going to say apply. It's always a good idea to make sure that um, your environment's set up without any errors before you get started. So you can see that I just need to confirm that um, that Android version that we're going to compile against. So the plugin creator tool created us a Java class file for our bug tapper screen, and then it also created us a um, file in the resources folder, resources layout which is screen bug tap right here and you'll see that it's just a a pretty basic um, almost empty XML file and this file um, is going to serve as the foundation for our bug tapping screen for the layout and then the Java class is right here bug tap screen dot Java and this is where we're going to be customizing our code here in a few minutes but before we do that I'm going to run this application in the simulator. I already have the simulator running. If you've done this before, you realize how long it takes to start these simulators. Um, it takes a very, very long time. In fact, this one's still not launched. I tried to launch it a few minutes ago, and it's still opening, which drives me crazy. Um, but that's just the way it goes. So while we wait for that, let's show you... Um, some of the methods that were already created inside this class by the um, they're created automatically by the plugin creator tool so here's our um, public class bug tap screen and of course it extends the buzz touch activity base class like they all do and the plugin creator tool um, added our copyright information the on create method um, you've seen a lot of the other Android activities. These are all very similar, so that was created for you. Um, it created the um, code for you that explains um, to um, Android which layout file to load. And then we get right here, and this is basically where it ends. So the onCreate method ends right here. And then we have the onStart, onResume, onPause, onStop, onDestroy. And then, of course, on prepare menu or on prepare options menu. So, all of that stuff was created for you, and this plugin will run and load um, without making any changes to it. And we're going to start by doing that. So, our simulator has finally finished loading, finished launching. 
And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select our application and I'm just going to click the Run button. And it's going to ask me how I want to run it. And I want to run it as an Android application. And what's going to happen is it's going to install it on the simulator and launch it. And like we expect, there's not going to be any functionality in our bug tapping screen yet. We have to create that ourselves. And once we do, it's going to be a fun little game. And we're going to, we're going to tap, some, tap some bugs, I hope. Um, so I'm refreshing the application's content from the control panel. There's our splash screen. And here's our home screen menu. And when we tap this first row, play game, in our menu, which we set up on our control panel, we are going to be um, telling Android to load this class file right here. And as it loads that class file, it's also going to load that layout file that I showed you right down here called screen bug tap, um, screen bug tap .xml. So when we hit play game, there's our bug tapping screen and we can go back and we can go back and forth and load this plugin and in um, we've just demonstrated that without writing any other code we've created um, a plugin that loads without any errors and now we can begin customizing the code to make it do something fun gotta add a little life to this thing so like I showed you earlier I have a little cheat sheet that I'm gonna be using and you can download this at the end of this tutorial um, to help you along when you experiment with this and I, and I encourage you to do that. This little cheat sheet that I created um, contains the code that I wrote. It took me about an hour to write this plugin and this contains all the code so I can copy and paste it into our, um, into our class file without having to ask you to sit through an hour long video while I type. So I'm going to ignore the first, the first part of this um, cheat sheet. It's just a bunch of numbers that tell you the step by step process and I'm going to explain these steps as we go. So this is the code that um, we're going to paste in. So these are all the import files that you're going to want to make sure that your class file has. It already will. You can see all the import files are up there. And these are some method or some variables also known as um, class members or class properties that we're going to include in our um, in our class. So I'm copying those. And incidentally, let me do that again. I think I might have made a typo. We get this question a lot. Before I continue on, I'm going to go ahead and answer it. This red line under this relative layout, if you mouse over that, it will tell you why it's red. And it's telling you that you don't have the import up here for um, the relative layout files so we need to include that import and you'll see that it just added it right there so that's why I showed you all of these um, that you'll need for this plugin Eclipse operates differently depending on how you have your machine set up some people have it set up to import things automatically I usually just do it as I go so I don't import things that are unnecessary but anyway so back where we were so we just copied some properties into our class and we pasted those here and these are related to our start button and our and our game container and the size of our bug that we're going to be trying to splat on the screen. And then in the onCreate method, I'm going to paste some of this code here. And we're going to scroll down to the onCreate method. And right above did create, we're going to paste the code that goes into the onCreate method. And so over here in our cheat sheet, which again you're going to be able to download at the end of this movie so that you can use it, we'll, we'll um, create that. Now the start game method we haven't pasted yet, so that's underlined red. And then you also see here where it says your delegate name. In the cheat sheet it explains at the top here that you need to replace your delegate name with the name of your application delegate. And so a lot of you will already understand um, how to find that, but all you have to do is look into your class files and it'll show you down here what that's called. So I'm going to replace this with B-U-G-G-A-M-Z bug games app delegate so it goes like that and I'm gonna copy that and we're gonna have to do that a few times in this code that I've I've supplied you so that's the on create method code which we copied from here and then we have an updated uh, method for on pause and on stop so I'm gonna copy those 
So we're going to overwrite the on pause and the on stop. And then we need to paste the start game, the end game, and the move bug methods. You're seeing these errors right here because um, this update bug handler doesn't exist yet. We haven't pasted that yet. So we'll give ourselves some more space in between these methods and we'll paste the start game, the end game, end game method, and the move bug method. And we have a function here called next int, which creates a random number in between two numbers that I wrote. We have another, another method called timer delay remove view. We've got a couple of different methods down here. I'm just going to copy them all. And now what we have are all of the methods pasted in. And I'm going to go back here and replace this delegate information with the proper delegate name which was um, the bug games hyphen app delegate. So we're going to do that everywhere I entered these placeholders for you. So this is bug games app delegate. And remember that will be different for your app, whatever the application you're, you're working with. That's going to be the delegate name that you're going to paste in here. And you can see that right over here in your in your class files, it'll be um, the name of your application underscore app delegate dot Java. So we're going to put that in a few different spots. I'm just overwriting um, the name there that I had in caps. And now what we have is we have all of our methods pasted in, and you'll see that there's no more errors. And I'm going to explain to you what these do as the application is running. So I'm going to relaunch it in the simulator and bugorama start. We'll see how this works. So when the application launches, it's going to do what it always does. It's going to load the splash screen and then the home screen. And then we and we've already seen that, so I'm just going to tap the first row in the menu play game and when we tap the play game menu item we have a start game button that shows up right in the middle so on this on create method we added code starting here and we got a reference to um, the game container which is a relative layout this is just a big box around the whole screen and this comes from the XML it's called container view it comes from the XML layout file and then we created a button to start the game and we're doing this programmatically we're not doing this in XML I created these with code and then we add a click listener to the start game um, button start and you'll see here that when this button is tapped this method is fired and then we move some things around by um, changing their position with another relative layout and then we added the start button to the game container and then on create finished. So let's look down at the start game method. And don't confuse the start game with method with the activities on start method. Remember the life cycle activity life cycle events are pretty similar for all the activities. So here's the start game method that we pasted. When we hit this button we're gonna hide the start button. We're gonna make it invisible we're going to set a variable called game is running to true and then we're going to look for a previous splat button and you'll see what I mean after we start playing the game right now it doesn't exist and then we're going to trigger a method called move bug so the move bug method which is right down here does a little bit of math and it does some calculations and it moves a bug icon around the screen and you can see it jumping around the screen and part of what it does is it adds a, um, a button to the screen where that bug is and when we when we click that button we're gonna run the end game method and turn that bug into a splat 
Let's see if I can catch that thing. It's not as easy as it looks. Darn thing. Of course, maybe I should adjust the speed of the bug. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay, got it. So the bug turned into a splat. If that's moving too fast for me, I can manipulate these variables up here. Um, speed, remember we added that in. And so I'm going to hit the play again button. It's going to jump around and we're going to hit a splat again. And we're going to get a little bit better at this, we hope. And this is a little bit different than the iOS version. I was just playing around. In the iOS version, the bug kind of crawls around the screen and leaves a trail. Um, in this version, it's jumping around the screen and going blank and not blank and showing up in random, random location, locations until you can capture it. I thought it might be a little bit of fun to do that. And you can't see the bottom of the screen here because the my screen recording is cutting off the bottom of the simulator. But that's the idea. All we did was manipulate this Java file that the plugin creator tool made for us. We added some simple methods, some simple properties, and we've got a fun little game. In a real game, of course, we'd have some, some um, more sophisticated choices in our menu. We would probably have show high scores or you know, connect with friends or brag about this game or share on Facebook or something like that. But for this tutorial, just showing you how to extend um, the generic plugin that's created with the tool, and turn it into something fun is, um, I think, a good exercise. So let's see if I can get this bug one more time before we go without pulling my hair out. Might be easier on an actual device. My mouse is pretty slow. <laughs> I'm determined. You know, it's not supposed to be this hard. Got it. <laughs> see how I cheated there? I just waited for it to show up under my, mou under my mouse. Okay, guys, so until next time, have fun making apps and keep working on um, understanding a little bit more each time you get into these videos and you'll be making some great apps in no time. See you later.